I get knocked down, but I get up again. They're never gonna beat me down or something. Beat you down? No, uh, keep, bear it, keep you down. They wanna beat you down? No, that's too bad. Chapel yes. one was pretty peaceful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Musical inspiration. Well, that's a huge range because we grew up listening to a lot of cool Christian artists. DC Talk being one of our favorites, uh, Newsboys, Audio Way, Striper, a little bit, and uh, Carmen. Carmen, Michael W. Smith, Stephen Curtis Chapman. And then uh, as far as some mainstream artists, we like, uh, you know, Home Republic, Room 5, Chumba Wamba. Chumba Wamba. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. They're never gonna beat me down or something. Beat you down? No, uh, keep, bear it, keep you down. They want to beat you down? No, that's too bad. Chumbo one was pretty peaceful. Oh, okay. But, um, describe your first show as Manic Drive. Um, uh, take the drums? Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, two, two, three. I get knocked down, but I get up again. That's the color first show, man. Yeah, we did a Chumbo Wamba cover. Yeah, we used to be a Chumbo Wamba cover band and just did that song. would work out too well. Our first show, we would have been young playing like out of Wana or something. Well, we started as a family band many years ago. This is my brother, Sean. Sean, say hello. Sean, what's up? And uh, we were very young, we just had a deep passion for music. Our father was musically inclined, so we had a bit of a family crib. We did uh, local churches and little Christian clubs within our area back, in, back home in Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. so um, we did that, and uh, our first show as Manic Drive was actually an event called Freak Fest with Thousands of a Crutch in May of 2004. And it was good. It was, good. It was <laughs> applause. And it like an applause sign. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, how do you embrace electronics in your music? Uh, well, we stick keys into electrical sockets and just hold on as hard as we can until... Uh, Some frown upon that thinking it's dangerous, but no, I uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, yeah, I guess it's kind of like the new current sound and there, there's tons of stuff out there and mixing kind of some of the acoustic instruments with some of the electrical pop stuff uh, gets, gets kind of fun. And then, uh, besides your, your guys' band, who is your favorite band? Oh, our favorite band. Except, except for us? <laughs> except for us. I mean, I would have said us uh, yeah. for sure. Our favorite band. That is so hard to say because we, uh, our father raised us with a lot of cool soul and rock and roll and gospel music. And then we I hear a drummer, by the way. I heard a drummer cough. Did he cough? Anthony? And then we listened to a lot of hard rock stuff as well. And that's just a huge yeah. range. So oh, we could be able to do skill, Skillet, Switchfoot, uh, Mute Math, I thought was really excellent when they came out. And we're not allowed to say Manic Drive, right? Can we say Manic Drive? Listen to a lot of them when you were growing up? Yeah, yeah. yeah, when we were growing up, a lot of them was managed. I found our drummer, by the way. No. You do, do you really want to talk? Do the drummer call. <laughs> Mine. My first show with Manic Drive um, it was a long time ago. It was in 2008. And I think it was an outdoor show. And it was cold. And uh, I had three days prior to learn all the songs. No joke. And then that night and we Sean, just met him like yeah, and then, like and two then, days before. And then that night Sean sat on my face. By accident. Yeah. It was Where, dark. Can you explain the story? No. No. no, no. <laughs> so you <didn't> really <laughs> we gotta keep it PG. Yeah, that was uh, No, we're just yeah. like in the hotel room and he was laying down and I didn't see him and I accidentally sat on our drummer. That's normal. Yeah, you know, so that's how we initiate our drummers. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like a tradition. Nice it's a manic drive Sean. tradition now just to sit on drummers. Well, it's more of a Canadian culture thing. Yeah, yeah it's a it's Canadian thing. Embrace other musicians. Mm. Manic trap. We were eating a bowl of alphagettis, and the word manic appeared. It was magical. On our spoon. Um, then a great wizard came from the mountain. No, we, um, Sean actually really liked the word manic to kind of describe our personality or style of music, you know, crazy, hard driven. And then Sean's like, let's add the word drive, like, but to be driven, to be pursuing something. So we want to, you know, pursue our faith manically or radically. And so we thought the name just kind of stuck and sounded rock and roll. So manic drive. 